I promised you I'd be back to talk about the gift of the Holy Spirit. Aren't you excited? I can't wait to see what's inside the gift of the Holy Spirit. Last time we talked about Jesus promising that he was going to send them the gift. And he had been with them for 40 days and showed them that he was alive and told them that he would give them power and help them to be his witnesses. Well, they went and they waited. They waited 10 more days. Does anybody know what 40 plus 10 is? 50, you guys are so smart. So 50 days after Jesus rose from the dead was the day of Pentecost. And we'll jump right in on Acts 2. On the day of Pentecost, all the believers were meeting together in one place. And suddenly there was a sound from heaven like the roaring of a mighty windstorm. And it filled the whole house where they were sitting. So I'm going to find something in my bag that would make a sound like wind. Let's see. Oh, a balloon. Let's see if I can make a sound like a wind. Wow. If it was anything like that, that would get my attention. So they heard the sound from heaven like the roaring of a mighty windstorm. Wow. I wonder what's next. Let's find out. Then what looked like flames or tongues of fire appeared and settled on each of them. I wonder what I can find in this bag. Ah, a glow stick. That would look kind of like a tongue of fire. And the tongues of fire came and settled on each one of them. That's so cool. Wouldn't that be cool to look around and see everybody with a little flame of fire on their head? That was the Holy Spirit. Now, it wasn't the kind of fire that burns you or hurts you, obviously. It was the kind of fire that showed them that they were being filled with the power of the Holy Spirit. That's exciting. So that my glow stick represents those tongues of fire. And everyone present was filled with the Holy Spirit. What's something that I can fill? Ah, this really big balloon. So they were filled with the Holy Spirit and that gave them power. That's so exciting. Of course, this would make a really good wind noise too. And then what happened next? They began speaking in other languages or tongues as the Holy Spirit gave them ability. Wonder what I have. Ah, this could represent a tongue, right? Isn't that cool? So the Holy Spirit gave them the ability to speak with other tongues or languages. Now, my language is English. So I usually speak to you in English. But the languages that they were speaking were languages that they didn't know. They were languages from other countries and places that they had never ever learned. But they were speaking them. How? They were using their tongues, but the Holy Spirit was using their tongue to speak different words, praising God. Sometimes the words that the Holy Spirit gives you are from heaven. They're heaven words. And sometimes they're other language words so that people that listen and know other languages can hear you praising God. And that's what happened to them. At that time, there were many devout Jews from every nation living in Jerusalem. And when they heard the loud noise, let's see, something that makes a loud noise from my bag, this... a loud noise and they all came running and they were so bewildered because they were hearing their own language 
being spoken by the believers. Remember, I said they spoke in tongues and other languages that they didn't know, but the ones who came to listen, they did know those languages and they heard them saying words praising God. Isn't that exciting? Wow. And so Peter stepped up and he began to preach and tell them all about Jesus. And he told them that in the last days that God would pour out his spirit on all people, on your sons and daughters, and they will prophesy. That's you guys. Prophecy is when you speak forth the words of God. And young men will see visions. That means pictures that Jesus or God gives you. Isn't that cool? And your old men will dream dreams, dreams that come from the Lord. And in those days, I will pour out my spirit even on my servants, men and women alike, and they will prophesy. And that means speaking forth the words of God. Isn't that amazing? And everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. That means that if you call on Jesus, he will come into your life through the Holy Spirit and you'll be saved. That means forever get to live with Jesus. This is so exciting. And then Peter said, if you repent of your sins, that means tell Jesus you're sorry for the wrong things you've done and turn to God, turn away from the things that you shouldn't do and turn toward God and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins, then you will receive the Holy Spirit. And there were 3,000 people that believed that day. Did you know they started meeting together in the temple and in each other's homes and talking about Jesus and reading the Bible and sharing communion with each other? And it was so exciting and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit. And guess what? All of these things together, what did they remind you of? It says it on my balloon right there. Does it remind you of a birthday? Yes. Do you know why? Because the Holy Spirit is a gift and it gave birth to the church. The day of Pentecost when the Holy Spirit came and gave all of these amazing gifts. It was the birth of the church. All those people that gathered together in the name of Jesus and belonged to Jesus and were filled with the Spirit, they were the first church. Isn't that exciting? So when we celebrate Pentecost and the coming of the Holy Spirit, we're celebrating the birthday of the church. Isn't that awesome? I've got five candles on my cake to represent the 50 days, one for each of those 10 days of 50 days after Jesus came back alive. 50 days later, the birthday of the church, Pentecost. Aren't you excited that Jesus gave us such a great gift and the birthday of the church is a gift for everyone. We are part of the church. We are a part of a group of people that believe in Jesus and love Jesus and we can be filled with his spirit and his power. We can have those gifts of tongues and prophecy and dreams and visions just like he promised. Just ask Jesus Please give me the gift of the Holy Spirit. I want to be filled. I love you and I want to have everything that you have promised me to give me in the gift of the Holy Spirit. I want all of it. So let's celebrate the gift of the Holy Spirit and the birthday of the church today. Happy birthday!